Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey. JC in the house. <clears throat> Tonight's topic: How are you against single motherhood and anti-marriage? Uh, so everybody gather around JC in the house. Y'all yeah, already know what time it is. But yeah, the I mean, got a lot of brothers out here that hate the single mother, dislike single mothers. But yet, those same brothers don't want to get married, don't want to settle down. So basically, you're contradicting yourself, you know. You're anti-marriage, but you're also anti-single mother. And a lot of these brothers that's getting upset with single mothers have kids. And they're not married to their child's mother. So you're really being a hypocrite, you know. So what's going on, Gabriella? What's going on, Sylvia, Dominique, Leo, Robin? What's going on, everybody? You know, everybody feel free to chime in, ask any questions y'all have, you know, be a part of this discussion, you know? But yeah, though, you know, how can we be against marriage and against single motherhood, you know? You got a lot of brothers talking about, okay, well, marriage, you don't favor the, the man, because if y'all get divorced, you take half your stuff, you know? And I'm just like, yeah, that's a possibility. But I feel like yo, your payment is going to be a lot uh, cheaper if all your child support payments if you end up getting married. You know, at the same time, it just shows just how least, how, how we don't really value um, fatherhood. We don't value our women enough to have her have our last name, walk her down the aisle before we give her a child, you know? That doesn't make any sense, you know? So you're going to be against single mothers, but you don't even plan on marrying your child's mother, or you don't have no plans of getting married and um, leaving a legacy behind, you know, for your great, great, great grandkids, you know? And that doesn't make any sense. And also, too, those same brothers, they grew up with just their mother in the household doing everything. And they had different uncles in and out the household. So how can you be a hypocrite? You were, you were raised in that same situation, you know? So, yeah, what's going on, Marie? What's going on, Key? Corin? What's going on, everybody? JC in the house. You know, it absolutely doesn't make any sense to sit there and degrade women about, you know, you should chill better, chill better, chill better. Like women, you know, a lot of times they know that a man, he ain't about nothing, you know? Let's just be honest, you know, a lot of brothers, you know, they put on the mask, pretend to tell them what you want to hear, get her pregnant, and it's like, they they the ones that abandoned their progeny, you know what I mean? She didn't want to stay in, take care of the kids, so how can we sit up here and uh, get upset with the, the mother? You know, we need to be more upset with, you know, men who abandoned their prodigy. And uh, I made a video about that, you know. Like I said, it, it comes down to the man as far as valuing his seed and setting, you know, a, a legacy behind. You know, what do you leave? What do you leave behind that somebody gonna remember you 20, 30 years after after your death day? You know, and uh, a lot of brothers are not really thinking about planning the future. Uh, don't have anything saved up, and they're really leading the pro. Um, you know, they're really, they're really living in, pro in our progeny, you know? Nothing in the bank, you know what I'm saying? Nothing in the bank, nothing saved up. No savings account, the credit messed up. It's like, what are y'all doing? You know, y'all been out here chasing chasing women, but it's like, what y'all got to show for it, you know? Y'all 45, 50 years old, and they got nothing to, to leave behind, you know? No memories or nothing, you know? So it really just says, you know, <laughs> Oh, what's going on, Keisha? What's going on, Charlene? What's going on, Wade? Keisha said the guy who responded back to your post was something, so something else. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, he, he's a uh, anti-single mother, even though I believe he has been raised by a single mother. So, you know, like I said, he just don't make any sense trying to grade the women. You know, he said he must remember he has a mother. How does he feel if someone reference her? Exactly, you know, it's all about having respect, you know, you don't want nobody to agree your mother, your sister, your daughter, so it's like, why do that to the next man, you know? 
and then the brother that step up and want to be a good role model, a good stepfather to the kid, you call them brother simps, you know, it's like, come on now. We need brothers to step up, take care of the kids, you know, because sometimes, it just be real, a lot of brothers, they grew up without knowing their father. And, you know, guys got to, you know, value fatherhood and, you know, they wouldn't be so many stepfathers if men would actually took the role, took the lead and wanted to, you know, build something, you know? I know that's kind of foreign to a lot of brothers, you know, as far as building and stuff, you know, that's kind of, that's second nature, you know? <sighs> What's going on, Teresa? What's going on, Marlon? Marlon said sometimes stuff happens. It's easy to be a single mother for being single long when you don't know the story happens. Yeah, like I said, you don't really know her story. You don't know why she's a single mother. Um, you don't know the father is deceased. You don't know what the father uh, might have been on drugs, alcohol. He might have just, you know, took out, he took himself out of the picture. So, as far as just trying to put the blame on the woman, like, he really don't know her story, you know? So, you know what I'm saying? But there are situations where mothers or women do take, do procreate with men who are, aren't about much, but for the most part, you know, it's a decent dude, and a lot of times it's on him to value fatherhood. A lot of times, whether they take so much time off of work and trying to make sure he gets his time with the child, but a lot of men, they don't want to take it, you know? Like I said, you got visitation to the court system. You got visitation, you know, go go fight for the court, you know? Like, go, go, use, your, go use your rights for the court. If she don't want you seeing your kids, like, you know, go use the courts. A lot of brothers don't even want to do the battle. Like, you want to sit here and hear complain about women and stuff. Like, come on, now you ain't even doing your, you ain't even doing bare minimum and stuff. Okay. Okay, Justin said, you know, I turned, I was turned by a single mom because I'm a single dad. Yeah, you're right. Okay, Keisha said, you can have a preference without saying negative and degrading comments. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, what's going on, Campbell, Steven? You know, you don't have to date single mom, which is okay, but you don't have to attack them. All right, though, like I said, the thing, see the, see the problem, see the, what issue I have is, you still got men out here, you still date single mothers, you still trying to get at single mothers, and you claim that you hate black women, you hate, you claim that you hate single mothers, but you still trying to get in their DMs, you still trying to get stuff popping with them. That's the issue I have, because if I say I like somebody, it has a preference, which you right, you wrong. You don't have to deal with a single mother, but constantly coming on social media, bashing them day in and day out, like, that's not cool. Like, come on now. You got other stuff to be worried about. They'd be worried about, oh, you should have chose better. Like, there's like there's dudes out here that actually got right intentions. You know, like, everybody, you know, that's working a nine-to-five with good intentions, you know? Like, you know, you just better. You hurt, and somebody's hurt you, and... You haven't you haven't healed from that, you know. You said mostly brothers have a bunch of kids. Yeah, you got a bunch of kids out of wedlock, but yet you gonna play complain about a single mother. That don't make too much sense. Come on now, y'all, y'all gotta step it up, though. You know, she said a single mother either hurt him or rejected him. Now he's better. Yeah, like that rejection is is big for black men. You know, a lot of us you really can't can't handle the same hurt that we put on women and stuff. So. You know, you're right about that, uh, Keisha. You know, but as far as uh, single mothers, as far as uh, single motherhood concerned, like I said, I blame, like I said, I blame a lot of that on the father. You know, because she can't get what we don't put in her. You know, I seen a post on on Facebook that said, you know, like I said, pregnancy starts with the man, and I have said that before. Um, we give her. Our sperm, we give her life, you know, and she reproduces what we give her. You know, it's her choice whether she has the baby or not, but we don't want to give her the opportunity, you know. And I don't think a lot of women out here going to a sperm bank, so they're going, they're getting the semen out of intercourse from men who are willingly putting their, their legacy, their DNA in somebody else's jeopardy, you know. What's going on, Felicia? Okay, exactly. He don't have 10. He don't claim. Yeah, like I said, you got like, you got, you got some sorry brothers out here. You got all these kids that are well alive, but you ain't even trying to marry your baby, your child, mother. But yeah, you got a difficult situation where you're trying to uh, 
you know, bash the mother. I'm like, come on now. She may only have one child. You talking about she undateable. Like, come on now. Everybody deserves a little. Everybody deserves somebody. You know, I don't care how many kids she got. You know that woman, the kids are a package deal. I'm here to tell you that. They are a package deal. You can't love one without the other. And uh, that's why you got to be cautious when you're dating. You got kids because a lot of brothers, they'll come in there and try to play a little stamp there just to get some just to get the booty from you. So you got to be cautious of what's the real intentions, you know. So, yes, Marlon said, the thing is everything, everyone, everybody's gotten rejected. Everybody's gotten rejected before in his life. Rather, someone or from the situation, it is what it is. Never lose a part of learning. She or he isn't for you. Yeah, you got to learn from it situation and stuff. You know what I mean? You said we got Dickerson. What's going on Dickerson? Well you said uh it's reason why he harboring that type of hurt. Yeah, like I said, a lot of times it starts childhoods, a lot of rejection that a lot of men feel and then they just feel hurt and then they feel like they got lashed out on women, which is really unfair because somebody did you wrong, like there's no need to be bitter. There's no need to be uh, angry and stuff. Like, okay, bro, she she disrespected you. Okay, she, okay, bro, she rejected you. There's millions and millions of other women that you can talk to. Like, you shouldn't be holding that inside. That's what a lot of brothers got to do, you know? Uh, so Steph, if I said, <sighs> one of the reasons why many black men assault single mothers because they are constantly listening to those self proclaimed or black problem constantly feeding them this nonsense and they fall for it yeah you're right about that they do fall for you know the nonsense um but yeah the, like i said before it is a package deal you deal with the mother you deal with the kids too man a lot of and there's you talk about truth better but like i said before there's more Russell. There's more futures out there than there are Russell Wilson of the world. And then once again, like she chooses better, you still getting upset. You still upset, like damn, you know. Now you trying to go on her past, like how many dudes she done slept with, how many dudes she done banged. Like I understand, like you got you got a history, you got a body count, but you want her to dis discard that. But she's supposed to be judged to the highest highest honor, you know. Okay, what's going on, Theresa? He just said a strong-minded man wouldn't go there or allow negative stuff in. Yeah, you know what I mean? You got to know who you are. You got to stand by your core value, your principles, you know? He's, uh, with the kids, they leave her alone. Yeah, like I said, you going to date a man, then you got kids, and, like, he got to love you and the kids together. It's a package deal, like I said, the folk, but a lot of brothers, they ain't trying to deal with all that. So it's like a special type of dude to to manage that situation. You know, it's not for everybody. You know, you know, but you gotta understand that you know there is somebody out there for you. You know, like I said, you gotta pray, you gotta meditate, and like I said, the God or whoever whoever you believe in, He gonna bring one to you. But you gotta be patient, cause right one is gonna come in there, gonna love you, gonna love your kids, and uh, y'all gonna be able to mesh. But you can't rush his timing. You know. Marlon said, that's the thing, a lot of men don't know who they are. Yeah, they don't have an identity, you know. They feel like you, you know, you're missing something. You're not out there sleeping around, you're not having fun. Like, and now, like I said, you don't know who you are. Broke people getting in bad relationships, hurting other broke people and stuff. So, you know, that's one thing we got to do a better job with, just healing ourselves first before you try to go out there pursuing women. Because yeah, cause if she living good, she peaceful, then... We don't want to bring hard baggage to her, you know. What's going on, Tasha? What's going on with you? How you doing tonight? But yeah, though. And then, as far as the single mothers, you know, let's let's talk about, you know, brothers not trying to get married. It's like you telling a brother like me, like, bro, don't get married, just have fun, like. But yet, a, a, the same woman my age, you gonna tell her, bam, why you not have a husband yet? Like, like dudes out here really want to date, really trying to settle down and stuff. Don't get me wrong, there's some dudes out there, but not enough as far as with the same core values that actually want to go out there and, you know, build a legacy together, you know. So, 
you know, so it's always going to be tough for women as far as dating and finding that, finding somebody new because it's always, you don't know where the person's head at, you don't know what the man's attention is, you know, everything, just because he's working a nine to five and get, you know, get worth that, it doesn't mean he has good character, he has good morals, so it's still, it's still tough to really dissect who that person is. All right, Keisha said he doesn't realize the enemy is using him or vetting him to attain favor to the fullest. Yeah, you're right about that. Hey, what's going on, Tarsha? How are you doing tonight? You doing all right? I ain't heard from you in a minute. How are you doing? Excellent, wonderful, fantastic, you know. But yeah, though, like I said, you know, we gotta, we really got to embrace single mothers because they really do so much and they really don't get the recognition that they really do deserve, you know. Out there cooking, cleaning, out there helping you out with projects, homework, out there taking you to and from work, calling off sick just to uh, take you to the doctors. You know, it's so many things that they have to do and they got to manage. And a lot of times they all by themselves, you know. Now some, they got parents, but at the same time though, that whole burn is gonna be, be on her on her shoulders. So that's why my advice as far as the ladies is you gotta be cautious because you the one that's gonna be there with a the baby up two, three o'clock in the morning, baby crying for milk and stuff. So you gotta be cautious because it's gonna be on your shoulders at the end of the day. So, you know, we can I can sit here and talk about men you gotta do better, but end of the day you're gonna be the one waking up two, three o'clock in the morning, taking the child in and out of the hospital, so y'all gotta be careful. You know, whoever y'all do choose to sleep with. Now, I ain't talking about wait till marriage, stuff like that, but just be cautious. You know, understanding that that if it go wrong, you get pregnant, then a lot of times you might be on your own, and you a lot of times you gotta accept that. You gotta accept reality, you know, because you know, that's just how, that's how, that's just, that's just how, how poorly a lot of men are as far as just honoring that woman, you know, to abandon her with or without the marriage, you know, you still gotta be there for your kids, go out there protect and revive for your kids and stuff. So, you know, that's the one thing that brothers gotta do a better job with, you know, and quit thinking like, okay, well, you know, because I can't have sex with this woman, then I'm gonna neglect my children. Like, nah, that don't make any sense. You be there for your kids regardless, you know? And yeah, also too, you know, you're going to sit there and play daddy to somebody else's kid, collect your own kids then. I don't know. I don't understand that. <laughs> like I said, we got to stop being like, sex-minded. Uh, okay, well, she don't want to give me none or like, I ain't going to do nothing for my kids. Now, nah, it ain't about you. It ain't about you. It's about the kids. You being there, providing an example, being a leader, providing discipline, yes, and giving your kids that identity with or without your relationship with the mom, that's why y'all should be cordial, y'all should talk, y'all shouldn't bad mouth each other, and uh, y'all should be co-parents and work together. All right, let me read some of these comments real quick. What we got here? Okay, Seven said, constantly saying, they should choose better, it's going on the assumption that she didn't choose better, when in fact many people do choose wisely, but sometimes things are just don't work out. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? You can't really predict the future, you know? Everything can be going good and well, and then five, six years later, you know, a death may happen. You know, you may get on drugs, you may get on alcohol, you know, and you really don't know that person's still going to be there for the long run. But, you know, y'all do have a child together. And that's what I'm saying. You got to do what you got to do to make it make an impact in your child's life. Quit, quit having all these damn excuses like, oh, the mom won't let me see you. Oh, the course will let me see them like, nah, bro, you do what you got to do for your kids because, you know, you're going to do everything else. you trying to go out to go out the country. you trying to go out there and travel. You're going to make sure you do what you got to do to get the money to go out go out the country or go out there and travel. You know, you want a new pair of shoes. You're going to go out there and uh, work two jobs, maybe work a side job and try to get your shoes. So you got to do what you got to do. Quit making these excuses, you know. And um, whatever too, you gotta start calling these boys like these men. You know these boys got kids out of what? You got these kids, and you think it's okay for him to slide by and think he gonna be parent to your kids and neglect his own? Nah, that's shame on you too. So, you know, work on it. Work both ways. 
What's going on, Ebony? What's going on, everybody? What's going on, Carol? All right, let me see something real quick. Okay, Keisha said, us women must have self-control as well, including knowing our own value. Yeah, you gotta have self-control, you know, as women too, because not every time I dig in here, you need to be up inside your walls, you know, your your, your temple is a, your, your body's a temple, you know, it's not a visitation center, you know, so. Be cautious of whoever you sleep with, you know what I'm saying? Any type of dude would be like, don't sleep with this person, that person, but you do wanna have a standard for yourself, you know, don't let everybody get inside you and stuff. But to each his own. All right, who else we got to say? Okay. Because guys like that show red flags in the beginning. Yeah, like I said, there are red flags. That's why a lot of women, y'all gotta use that intuition. You know, sometimes y'all do see the red flag, y'all do see the control and even never tell, but you know, y'all like to gloss over it, so y'all do gotta do a better job with that. All right. Marlon says, that's why I tell my friends, I don't care how much beef you have with the mother of the kids, take care of your kids. Yeah, you got to take care of your kids and set that example. What the one out the mother, because you and that child, y'all had that lifetime bond, and uh, you got to be there for her, for be, be there for her or him. You know, like I said, you're going to be the one missing out on graduation, birthday parties, events, you know. So, you know. You gotta make sure you make an impact in the child's life and not just thinking that you can just vote by and then come back later on when they grown thinking you're gonna be cool with them and expect them to accept you back. Nah, it don't work that way. You know? And uh, and I'm really just upset with the brothers who grew up without a father, man. They they should have you some more innovation more motivation to be a better father, you know. You know what I mean? You should you should have they actually give you more motivation, like, damn, my brother, my dad wasn't there. I need to have motivation for my own kid. Like, nah, I'm going to make sure I'm there for my kids. I'm going to protect them. I'm going to provide for them, you know. I'm going to be there, you know. I'm not just going to be a, a check for them. I'm just going to make sure I'm there to help them out with schoolwork, make sure they fed, make sure they got clothes on their back. I'm going to be very actively following my kids and not just waiting on the system because a child just need more than just finance. You need love, you need that support, you know? So, you know. What's going on, Devon? What's going on, everybody? Y'all y'all feel free to share this video with your friends and stuff. And subscribe to the channel. What's going on? Call you. What's going on with you? Okay. I'll add on to the show. It's Keisha. All right, what we got? Okay, Marlon said, not only that, I just, even black boy, we don't forget when our dad walk out. And they try to make up the time when we were growing up. It's too late, and there's no coming back. Yeah, I mean, like I said, on that issue is all a personal choice because you could decide to have that that man come back, or you can be like, nah, you wasn't there, so I forget you. But you know, I'm the type of person that you know we all done this mess up thing. I've always said at least invite him out to lunch and dinner, talk to him face to face, and try to see his point of view why he wasn't there, and you go from there. If his answer line enough and you want to build a relationship with him, cool. If not, cool. And he can't get mad because he wasn't there. Especially if the mother put every opportunity for that man to be positioned, that man to be in the child life, you know? So we can't get upset about that. You know? What up, Asia? What's going on, sis? How you doing, sis? What's going on, Monica? What's going on, Kiana? It says a choice, but it's not the same. Yeah, it's not the same, but it's, it's each his own. It's everybody's such situation different. You want him in your life? Cool. If not, cool. He can't get upset. That's something he got to take to the grave with him. So, then I wasn't there. The, the my child mother. Every opportunity for me to bring in there. But I decided to do the job. I decided to be a womanizer. And, I, look, I didn't put my family first. I didn't put my kids first. So, that's something I got to go to the grave with. So, I can't... I can't get mad at nobody else beside myself, you know. All right, Marlon said it shouldn't take 18 years or longer to want to be a dad. That's hell of time. Yeah, but sometimes, but sometimes it takes a long time. Firstly, he's been on on drugs or alcohol or maybe been womanizing a lot. It's just everybody's time is different. I'm not saying I give him a pass, but everybody comes to their own at, at certain time points, you know. What's going on, Mason? How are you doing tonight? How's everybody doing tonight? JC in the house. Y'all already know what time it is. <laughs> well, yeah, though. 
like I said before, I'm going on K. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? But yeah, like I said, yeah, like, yeah it's like you just said, it's all about growth. You you grow, you mature, you're like, okay, man, maybe I wasn't there, you know. I can't I can't put all the bitterness on the mother. I gotta be the man, be like, you know, it starts with me. Yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't do my part, you know, so I can't get upset, you know. But I don't understand brothers don't wanna be actively involved in their child's lives, you know, you don't wanna take your little daughter to the school or first school dance, you know. You don't wanna to go to donuts for dad. Come on now, you don't wanna help your boys out on football practice, you don't pick your boys up from baseball practice or you don't want to help your old daughter with her hair and you know send her down talking to her about boys and stuff come on now like y'all just missing out on stuff and you you don't want to be a part of that yeah you're gonna get upset with a brother like a russell wilson coming to light and want to do that for the child you get upset with him but you more upset with a brother like russell wilson than you are with a with a brother not um taking care of his, his family you're gonna call Russell Wilson a simp, but it's cool with brother not taking care of responsibility, but yet you claim you don't like single mothers and stuff. Okay, this call is more, Anaya said, men often replace their children with their new women. That a woman usually inf in interferes in that relationship because she's afraid the ex and mom will get back together. Yeah, I mean, that happens too, but like I said, y'all should be on the page where y'all talking, y'all agreeing, agree, disagree on situations, and y'all know how to manage y'all kids, how much time y'all gonna spend with each other, you know, y'all should have like a business arrangement, not something that's always, you gotta walk, walk, you know, you gotta wake up with the other side of your pillow, like, what is she doing? She going back with the ex, it's screwing around, you shouldn't be none of that, you know? Like I said, I'm here for the kids, I'm here to do what I gotta do for my child, and uh, whatever you got going on, that's cool. But as long as it ain't interfering with the child development, then that's the only time I have a problem with it. <sighs> What's going on, Charlene? What's going on, Justin? Okay, Keisha said, if you ask them to give you a definition of a cell, they will have it look look it up in the Urban Dictionary. I mean, they basically, basically what they say is simple is basically do is like a real man. You know, a real man is gonna, you know, Open the doors for you. Gonna pay for dates, buy you flowers. Like that's what a real man's supposed to do. But because a lot of brothers they've been feminized and they think that they hard by not doing all that, they feel like okay, well I ain't gotta do all that, you know. But that's that's what a simp is, you know. My brother, that's a real man right there, taking care of a child, taking care of his home, with woman, the family, working nine to five. He ain't out there drugging. He ain't out there with both the women and stuff. Like he just he chill. He really content. So. That's it. That's a simple definition for me. Now, as far as another definition would be, you overly texting a woman, you overly trying to see a woman. Now, that's kind of messed up. Or you not really, or you seeing she not appreciative of you, but you still trying, trying to go back to her after she dogged you out and stuff. Now, that's that's a different uh, definition of simple. But you know, to each his own. All right, Emily said, my husband father-in-law didn't have a relationship. They recently reunited. His dad told him straight up, I was messed up and I messed up. I'm surprised that you and your brothers, you don't want to mess with me. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I I do commend the father. I do I, I do commend the father for admitting that because it's, it's tough for a lot of men to do, but that's the only way really you can get the kid respect that you just like, look, I messed up. I wasn't there. I can't put the blame on nobody else. Like, that's on me. Whether you want to accept me or not, that's on you. But, you know, you put the burden on the kids as far as they want to be involved with them or not. That's why I said as far as you dealing with a type of situation. Actually, you're a single mother, and you dealing with uh, a dad who's inconsistent. You got to be like, hey, you know, like I said, we're going to be good over here. It's either you're going to be a part or you're not, you know. I'm, a, I'm not gonna talk bad about you. I'm not gonna belittle you. I'm gonna give you the, you know, give the kid your phone number, your address. They wanna call you, they wanna come see you. That's on them. So, you don't wanna be man enough to take care of these kids and raise them, then 
that's something, that's something you got to go to the grave with. So it's out of my hands. And all that trying to beg him to come spend time, nah, we ain't doing all that. Either you're going to be a man enough and be the kid last you not. And, you know, all that inconsistent come back for two years, leaving three years, nah, we, we, we be consistently co-parent, and that's it. What's going on, Tori? How are you doing tonight? How's everybody doing tonight? You know, the topic of the night is single motherhood and uh, anti-marriage. All right, let's go back to anti-marriage. You know, brothers, like, they're so worried about being married and stuff. Like, it's a sin to be married. You know, you want to call brother simp for being married. But I feel like it's an honor. Like, it's an honor to be like, this is my wife, this is my kids, my family, this is what I'm leaving behind. Like, so when I get to that point, I can't wait to see my future son, daughter, go to school, go to class, and I'm loving on a wife, like Christ loves the church. I can't wait for that situation. It hasn't happened yet, but it'll come. But in the meantime, you gotta wait on God, you know? But anyway, you know what I'm saying? You can't be anti-single mother, anti-married. You can't be telling brothers to not get married you can't tell the brothers, you know, you want to have all your fun and then wait till you're 40 and then get married. Like, nah, but yeah, yeah, you expect her to be married by 25, 30 years old. Like, how does that work? How does that, how that work itself out? You basically contradict me yourself. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Um, when Neve Marlin said, Marlon said, if you don't want to be a dad, just wear a condom. Don't I run lives of mama and children? Yeah, like I said, I'm ruining people's lives. Put on, put on a raincoat, you know. That's what the brothers got to tell the brothers. Like, I mean, it might be good for the second, but you got to make sure to protect your seed, protect your last, your legacy, man. Like, it ain't worth it. All right. She, everybody says, is your viewpoint very rooted in religion? No, it's not. Religion, I, I just feel like for my life, that's what I want, that's what I plan on doing. But to each his own, you know, I don't feel like that's something that is needed, but in a healthy way. But not, it's not for everybody. I don't feel like it is. And I feel like it's a solution. Like I said that previously when I was talking to April and stuff, I was like, nah, it ain't the solution. But, you know, you would like to see more families together, building families and having generational wealth and, um, something constant, you know, so that is something that I like to see. But I'm not saying it's the end of it's the end all to be all because there are stuff that, you know, there's still guys still cheating men still in still in the woman DMs to this day. So so you know that so it's not no full proof, oh, you get married if they're going to peaches and roses because 'cause they're gonna be difficult battles and struggles as well too. So, you know. I don't know how many women complain about men, married men being in the DMs, approaching them, etc. So if he ain't, if that's how it's like on social media, just um, just imagine how it is in real life sometimes, you know? So, you know, and I don't think people are in there for the wrong reasons anyway. It's either for financial reasons or security, etc. It's not really for true love and ever, everlasting love. Okay. You say it's the peace solution for sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'll say it's a piece. I don't think it's the major solution for it, but we just, how far I just, I feel like we just need unity. You know, people being honest with what they want. You know, quit stringing people along. Like, you just want to have sex, let that person know. Like, keep telling y'all. Like, quit ruining and damaging a good woman because you just want to have sex. Trying to go on all these days, telling her this dreams, you know. And I guess those guys do screenings and <laughs> LOL. Yeah, but yeah, like I said before, like I said, man, we just got to do a better job as far as, you know, valuing women, children, etc. And, you know, whether she's married or not, she's still a queen, she's still a woman at the end of the day. You know, she still got work to do. She still got a, a lot of the burdens that's put on her shoulders with or without, but maybe married or not. So we got to do a better job helping her out and uh, setting good examples for her. the kids and people, etc. Kiana said marriage is a step to attain generational law because you have to have legal bond for certain things. Mm, yeah, but there's also a common law marriage where you can just be in a house, you don't have to be married, but 
you know, I mean, I plan on having a business call you, having my daughter and my son raised. So I don't know everybody else. I know what my core values, I know what my beliefs are. So, you know, that's what I plan on looking for. But yeah. Okay, ways well, Keisha said, what if they get a DM like her falling for him, finding out she's a single mom or one marriage? Yeah, that's the, see, that's the problem, though. See, these dudes, they talking about they against single motherhood and marriage, but you're still trying to get at these women, though. They may have kids or two. You're still trying to smash stuff, like, some real stuff. You know what I mean? you still trying to have sex, though. Like, I'm like, let that woman go. You said you don't like single mother. Like, I guarantee you tons and tons of single mothers that they can pull up their DMs. A dude is talking about they hate black women, they hate single mothers. They still trying to get at them, so I'm like, why are you trying to do all that, bro? You still trying to smash, though? You still trying to get at them, though? Like, just be real with that, sh that stuff, though, man. You still trying to get at them, though? Yeah, you see, you're going to sit here and belittle them, degrade them, day in and day out. You still trying to get with them, though, you know? That don't make no sense. Like I said, you have a preference. You can deal with single mothers. You cannot. But all this degrading, talking about they... You know, the worst since, and they basically gum on the bottom of your shoe. I don't agree with all that, you know, because, like I said, if it wasn't for Southern Single Mother, a lot of brothers would not be here. You waiting for a man to sit there and marry you, then you're going to be out of luck. You know, you're going to be in your 40, early 45, 50 years old, and, and trust me, our, our race would extinct and we're waiting for marriage to have kids and stuff, so. You know what I mean? I don't know why I said marriage ain't really the, the big solution. I feel like it's a part of it, but it ain't the big, the big thing we need to be worried about, you know. Okay, Marlon said, those are miseducated that why are people, men should have those type of conversations. Yeah, you're right about that. Trying to test self esteem. Keisha said, I, I got to go, but we have to do a topic for our show. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, we talk about that. That's cool. You know what I mean? But, the yeah, though, like I said, you still trying to get out of women, though, even though you're talking about you hate single mothers. Like, that doesn't make sense. Just let her go, let her be, but you still trying to get out of her, though. That's what I don't get, you know? You said marriage is what you make out of it. Yeah. I mean, y'all both, two people coming together with the same core values, then they'll work. It, it, can, it can work, but people got, they got to be on the same page. They got to be willing to sacrifice and want the same thing, but a lot of people they get in relationships they not be every unequally yoked, and it's really confusing. So, you know, and also too, you know, y'all can have same similar core values, but y'all may not be compatible. So, you know, it is what it is sometimes. You know, but I feel like you know, regardless of y'all relationship with the mother, you still do what you gotta do for your kids because this is a choice that you made and. Remember, you laid down with her. Nobody forced you, you know? And uh, like I said before, you really don't know why that woman was a single mother. You don't know if she was right. You don't know what happened, you know? Also, you see the child, the baby in the stroller. You don't know what happened to the baby father. And um, you can't even judge her just off that because you really don't know what her situation is, you know? But yeah, the JC, I'm about to log out real quick. But yeah, though, y'all have a blessed night. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Y'all make sure y'all share this video with everybody. And uh, y'all subscribe to the channel if y'all have not done so. And uh, everybody, y'all have a blessed night. Peace.